I am Sandra Garcia, Reading Language Arts Specialist. On behalf of the Brownsville Independent School District, I would like to welcome you this morning to the 2022 District Spelling Bee. And now I'd like to welcome Carlos A. Reyes, a student at Egli Elementary who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, Carlos. Please be seated. I would now like to introduce Dr. Rene Gutierrez, our superintendent of schools, who will welcome our 2022 BISD Spelling Bee contestants. Good morning, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I know it's a cold Saturday, but uh, I'm very proud of everyone being here, of their dedication, their commitment. Uh, students, just relax, and uh, thank you for being here and for being part of the Spelling Bee. We're very proud of you, very proud that you're representing your schools, your families, and your teachers. And let's give them a round of applause for being here. They deserve it. Whether you win or you lose or you're tie, uh, it doesn't matter. You're already winners by being here and representing your campuses and uh, representing your families and, and your teachers. So we're very proud of you. Yes, they deserve another hand. Yes, absolutely. I'm very proud of these students uh, because they exemplify what uh, academic excellence is about. Uh, you know, a lot of us nowadays with uh, this day and age of social media and texting and emailing, uh, a lot of people take shortcuts the way they uh, spell words or the way they communicate, uh, but they are going to be examples of how we're supposed to spell everything correctly all the time, whether we are writing, we're texting, we're emailing. Uh, they're the ones that are going to teach us and show us that we must spell every single word correctly because that's the way we're supposed to do it. So thank you, uh, and thank you for being here, and I'm very proud of all of you. And I know it's going to be a long morning, but it's going to be exciting uh, to see your talents in, uh, in spelling. And, um, and again, all of you are good examples of what academic excellence is about, and that is uh, to be here and to be part of the Spelling Bee. And, may, and by golly, I mean, it's, I'm so proud of everyone being here. Very proud. And, uh, and students, just uh, relax and uh, take your time. And uh, again, we're here because of you and thank you so much for being part of the spelling bee contest thank you so much and now dr trevino our deputy superintendent of curriculum and instruction and human Re uh, will address the audience thank you Ms. garcia i think dr gutierrez wrapped it up really well S-U-C-C-E-S-S, -S, success, is right to my right. Every single one of you boys and girls has already demonstrated success. Thank you for studying those words. And it doesn't come easy, for I know that it took some team effort. So thank you to your parents. Thank you for your teachers for ensuring that you got here today. Can you give your parents and your teachers a round of applause, boys and girls? And I think Dr. Gutierrez is right. You all are already winners. So thank you again for giving it your all today. And he's right, sometimes the butterflies are in the stomach and that's why I think it's called spelling bees because if you feel like the bees are all in your tummy. But don't worry, your parents are feeling those same bees also. <laughs> so you're not alone. 
So uh, it is my honor and privilege to introduce uh, individuals that without their support, we wouldn't be here today. I know that sometimes a pandemic has like stopped a lot of events, but we're very, very pleased that our board recognizes that we need to move forward. And whether we're wearing a mask at the time, we still are ensuring that students get opportunities to compete and continue forward with life. So we want to thank our school board for that. And uh, we'll, with our president, Mr. Eddie Garcia, they were, they're not able to be here, but I'm telling you that they're very supportive. So Mr. Eddie Garcia is our president, Dr. Prissy Roca Tipton, our vice president, Denise Garza, secretary, Daniela Lopez Valdez, assistant secretary, Ms. Drew Brown, member, Jessica Gonzalez, member, and Ms. Minerva Pena, member. Can we please give them a round of applause? And I know that uh, we already introduced the superintendent, but the visionary leader that leads BISD, Dr. Rene Gutierrez. Uh, Ms. Rose Longoria is assistant superintendent for our middle schools. So all the middle school uh, students in the audience, she helps your principals every day ensure that you have a quality education. And in our elementaries, leading those uh, principals is Ms. Sandra Lopez for Area 1. And Ms. Alma Cárdenas Rubio, Area 2. And I know one of the ladies that was uh, a spear, you know, head, you know, leading the pack in you know, organizing our spelling bee for years, Ms. Dolores Emerson. She's our elementary, elementary administrator for curriculum instruction and accountability. And her partner, Ms., uh, Dr. Norma Ibarra Cantu, secondary administrator for curriculum and instruction and accountability. And at this time, we'd like to give a shout out to our elementary that's hosting our spelling bee today. And that's Egli Elementary, led by Mr. Pedro Vidal. Is he in the audience? There he is. Thank you, Mr. Vidal. You've been an amazing host already. And I know that I see some principals, elementary and middle school principals in the audience. Would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you so much for supporting your students. It's, uh, I'm sure that that kind of eases the nerves because if you, get, you have the bees, so do they. And parents, thank you all so much for being here and supporting your students. Parents, if you have a student up on stage, please stand and be recognized. Parents. It is a team effort, and thank you all for ensuring that your uh, child is here. Uh, BISD is the best choice, and it's because you all choose it. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Dr. Trevino. Now I have the privilege of introducing this year's Spelling Bee officials. As I call your names, please stand and be recognized. Our head judge is Mr. Carlos Olvera, Administrator for Bilingual, ESL, and Title III. In addition, our accompanying judges today are Alejandra Aldrete, Bilingual ESL Curriculum Specialist, Erica Hinojosa, Assistant Principal at Burns Elementary, Dr. Brenda Hasso, Human Resources Coordinator. Our pronouncer this year is Mr. Armando Sanchez, Lopez Early College High School English teacher. Our reference consultant is Mrs. Maria V. Gonzalez, Early Childhood Curriculum Specialist. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank several district personnel for making today possible. Rosie Era, Administrator for Library Media Services and her staff for their assistance in managing the PA system. <laughs> Luis G. Martinez, Administrator for the KBSD Instructional TV Studio and his staff in managing all of the videotaping. 
and of course our very own curriculum and instruction staff for their support and assistance throughout this very important and exciting endeavor. <laughs> Melissa Garza will now introduce our contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Melissa Garza, Reading Language Arts Curriculum and Instruction Specialist. And now I will introduce our contestants. Students, as I call out your names, please stand. I ask the audience to hold their applause until all contestants have been introduced. Maite Guajardo Guerra, Pulham Elementary. Sofia Perez, Burns Elementary. Chloe Melody Alaniz, Martin Elementary. Ricardo Jesus Zambrano Jr. Gonzalez Elementary. Jack Hesterberg Breeden Elementary. Audrey Vizcarra Castaneda Elementary. Cecilia Lopez Canales Elementary. Miguel A. Perez Falk Middle School. Jaden Ezra Aguilar Stillman Middle School. Azared Covarrubias Cromac Elementary. Ismael Ada del Angel Benavides Elementary. Emiliano Montelongo, Besteiro Middle School. Jose Guadalupe Cáceres II, Egli Elementary. Madeline Jul Juliana Beard, Keller Elementary. Jasmine Guevara, Gallegos Elementary. Sophie Ledesma, Del Castillo Elementary. Sofia Nicole Holmes, Manzano Middle School. Melissa Mendoza, Russell Elementary. Ryan Edward Holmes, Skinner Elementary. Gabriel Gonzalez, Perkins Middle School. Alfredo Martinez, Villanueva Elementary. Jessica Y. Silverin, Stell Middle School. Daniela Chantal Rivera, Paredes Elementary. Ashley Dimas, Garza Elementary. Aubrey Parker, Morningside Elementary. Gael S. Bravo, Hudson Elementary. Carlos Alberto Ramirez, El Jardín Elementary. Moises Zuniga, Champion Elementary. Marbella Soto, Lucio Middle School. Steven Danugrao, Bella Middle School. Brittany Heather Garza, Garden Park Elementary. Jairo Estrada Peña Elementary, Jimena Treviño Sharp Elementary, Luis Guajardo Vermilion Elementary, Santana Alemán Bright Elementary, Clarisa Davila Ortiz Elementary, Edgar Ivan Rodriguez Medrano Oliveira Middle School, Lily Green Palm Grove Elementary, Dylan Aaron Vasquez, Ituria Elementary. Brandon Rodriguez, Putnet Elementary. Alejandro Morales, Southmost Elementary. Ricardo Castillo Jr., Perez Elementary. Angelina Torres, Aiken Elementary. Montserrat Valderrama, Garcia Middle School. These are your contestants. You may be seated. At this time, I will ask that you please turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. No photography or video recording will be allowed during the competition. Contestants, please pay close attention as I review the spelling bee rules. All words on Scripps National Spelling Bee word list may be found in Merriam-Webster Unabridged, the official dictionary of the Scripps National Spelling Bee. After the pronouncer gives the speller a word, the speller will be encouraged to pronounce the word before spelling it and after spelling it. The judges may not disqualify a speller for failing to pronounce the word either before or after spelling it. If a word has one or more homonyms, the pronouncer indicates which word is to be spelled by defining the word. 
The pronouncer may offer word information without the speller having requested the information. If the pronouncer senses that that information is helpful and the information presented in the, is presented in the entry of the word in a 2022 Scripps National Spelling Bee word list. Please note, if the contestant chooses to keep the mask or face shield on, we encourage them to spell as clearly as possible. Contestants will not be penalized for keeping their ma face mask on. However, the, the judge's decision will be final if the student's spelling is misunderstood, unintelligible, or muffled. The role of the reference consultant is to respond to the speller's requests for a definition, sentence, or part of speech, language of origin, and alternate pronunciation, as listed in the competition word list produced by the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The reference consultant does not entertain root word questions, questions for alternate definitions, or requests for slower pronunciation. The judges will disqualify a speller who refuses uh, to, uh, a request to start spelling, who does not approach the microphone when it is time to receive the word, who does not comply with eligibility requirements, who engages in unsportsmanlike conduct, who in the process of retracing a spelling alters the letters or sequence of letters from those first uttered, who in the process of spelling utters unintelligible or nonsense sounds. The role of the judges is to uphold the rules and to determine whether the contestant has spelled the word correctly. The role of the speller is to, one, gather as much information as possible to help spell the word correctly, and of course, two, to spell the word correctly. The judges may not disqualify a speller for failing to pronounce the word, for asking a question, or for noting or failing to note the capitalization of a word. Having started to spell a word, a speller may stop and start over, retracing the spelling from the beginning. However, in retracing, there can be no change of letters or their sequence from, the first, from those first pronounced. If letters or their sequence is changed in the respelling, the speller will be eliminated. The competition shall be conducted in rounds. Each speller remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round shall spell one word in the round. No words will be respelled by another speller. Appeals may be filed by a parent, legal guardian, or sponsor of the speller who is seeking reinstatement in the contest. The judges will not entertain appeals from individuals seeking to dislodge another speller from the competition. The deadline for filing an appeal is before the, next, uh, before the speller affected would have received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the competition. No appeal will be entertained after that word has been given to another speller. The appeals table is located at the back of the auditorium. The judges are in complete control of the competition. Their decision shall be final on all questions. We ask that everyone please remain seated until the end of the competition. All participants are required to stay in the room until the end of the spelling bee. Students, if at any time you need a restroom break, please raise your hand so that we may escort you to the nearest facility. During the contestants break, everyone is to remain seated. Parents may not accompany their child to the break location. At the end of the spelling bee, all participating students will return to the stage to receive recognition for participating in the 2022 District Spelling Bee. The District Spelling Bee winner will then be announced. So at this time now, our head judge and pronouncer will address our contestants. Good morning, contestants, sponsors, administrators, parents, and guests. I'm going to review some reminders to limit distractions for the contestants. If you have any emergency, please raise your hand and someone will assist you. When we start round one, I will only indicate if a word was misspelled by raising my hand. If I do not raise my hand, you will return to your seat and continue with the competition. 
Please take your time. Think about the word carefully before you begin to speak. Speak clearly so you can be heard. If perchance you should misspell a word, I want you to know that we are very proud of you for attending this competition. I want you to leave the stage with your head held high. I want you to leave I want you to know that you are a winner. Are there any questions? Yes. Go ahead. Can you repeat the question, please? Will spaces be counted when you spell a word? No. That will not be an issue. Thank you for your question. Any other questions? The question was concerning apostrophes. No, that is not going to be an issue. Any other questions? The gentleman <laughs> who stood up. No, capitalization will not be factored in. Yes, number 13. No, you will not have to mention that, the accents. Very good questions. Any other questions? Okay, well, at this point, Mr. Sanchez, we are ready to begin our practice round. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning, contestants. We will now begin with the practice round. During the practice round, every student will come up to the microphone and spell a word. There will be no indication whether the word is spelled correctly or incorrectly. After you have spelled the word, you will return to your seat and we will continue with the next contestant. Let us begin the practice round. Let's begin with contestant number one. Offspring. Offspring. O F F S P R I N G. Offspring. Thank you. Is it number two? Retreat. R E T R E A T. Parchment. P A R C H M E N T. Parchment. Fester. May I have the word repeated? Fester. <clears throat> Fester. F E S T E R. Purpose. Purpose. P U R P O S E. Purpose. Depth. You have, may I have the word repeated? Depths. <coughs> Depths. D E P T H S. Discord. Discord. D I S. C O R D Discord Fountain Fountain F O U N T A I N Fountain
schedule. Schedule. S C E D U L E. Schedule. This word has a homonym, insurance. Noun, means of assuring against a loss by a contingent event on certain stipulated conditions or at a given rate or premium. Please repeat the word again. Insurance. I-N-S-U-R-A-N-C-E. Baltic. Can you have it in a sentence? The Baltic states do not share a common culture or national identity, but is mainly grouped together because of geographical proximity. Baltic. B O L T I C. Baltic. This word has a near homonym, president. Noun, the, president, the presiding officer of a governmental body as an advisory council, administrative board, or legislative assembly. E-R-E-S-I-D-E-N-T. This word could be confused with a similar word, roiling. Verb, stirring up, disturbing. Can I have the definition? Stirring up, disturbing. Can you repeat the word? Roiling. R O. Y D E N Royden This word has a homonym blight noun something that frustrates one's plans or withers one's hopes Can you give me the definition Something that frustrates one's plans or withers one's hopes. Can you repeat the word? Blight. B L I T E. Blight. This word has a near homonym devout. Adjective. Devoted to religion or to religious feelings, duties, or exercises. Pious, reverent, or religious. D E V O T E D. This word has a near homonym Oregon. May I have the word again? Oregon. Geographical entry. State in the northwestern part of the U.S. bordering the Pacific. O-R-G-E-N. Mechanics. Mechanics. M E C H A N I C S mechanics. Bipolar. Say it again. Bipolar. May I have the definition? 
Affected with any of several mood disorders, characterized usually by alternating episodes of depression and mania. May I have it in a sentence? As a bipolar patient, Freddie takes medication and goes to therapy, but he also surrounds himself with a supportive circle of friends and family to help ease his symptoms. B-Y-P-O-L-A-R. Grimaces. G R I M I C E. Odin. Inevitable. Repeat the word. Inevitable. Can you use it in a sentence? Bridget knew that pizza on Friday nights was inevitable in her household. Can you repeat the word? Inevitable. I N E V I D I B L E. Battalion. Can we repeat the word? Battalion. Can I have the definition? A considerable body of troops organized to act together an army. Battalion. B A L. A-L-I-O-N, Battalion. Dosages. Can you repeat the word? Dosages. D O S A G E S dosages This word could be confused with a similar word inheritance Noun, the acquisition of real or personal property as heir to another. Barricade. B A R C A D E. Barricade. Propound. Can you repeat the word, please? Propound. P 
R O P O U N D. Impenetrable. Impen impenetrable. I N P. Impenetrable. I N P. E N T R R I A L. Trouble. Disconsolate. May I repeat the word? Disconsolate. D I S C O N C E L E N C E. Jesuit. May you repeat the word again? Jesuit. G E S I W E N T. Plumage. Can you repeat the word? Plumage. Can you give me the definition? The entire clothing of feathers of a bird. Plumage. P L U M B A G E. Plumage. Immoderate. Can you repeat the word? Immoderate. Immoderate. I M O D E R A T E. Immoderate. This word has a homonym, carrion. Noun, the dead and putrefying flesh of an animal. May you repeat the word? Carrion. C-A-R-R-Y-I-N-G, carrion. Disgorged. May you repeat the word? Disgorged. D I S C O U R G E D. Disgorged. Redound. Can you repeat the word again? Redound. Redound. R E D O W N E D. Redound. Primavera. Can you repeat the word? Primavera. P R E 
M A V E R A. Arcane. May I repeat the word? Arcane. A R. E A N E arcane. This word has a homonym, colonel. Noun: an army marine or air force officer ranking below a brigadier general, and entitled to the insignia of a silver eagle. Colonel, C O L O N E L, Colonel. Unsullied. May you repeat the word? Unsullied. Unsullied. Definition? Not tarnished or stained, spotlessly clean. The word? Unsullied. U N S O L Unsullied, and I cannot pronounce any more after the third time. U N S O L I E D. Proffered. Can you say that again? Proffered. Proffered. P R O F E R E D. Testosterone. Can you repeat the word? <clears throat> Testosterone. Can you use it in a sentence? In a mature tomcat, testosterone contributes to the development of facial shields and a muscular physique. Can you repeat the word? Testosterone. T E S T. S T R O N A L Knickerbockers. Can you repeat the word? Knickerbockers. Can you use it in a sentence? Nigel. Nigel wore his knickerbockers to join his fellows in a round of golf. Can you repeat the word? Knickerbockers. K N I C E. R B O C E R B O S E
cloisters. C L O Y E S T E R S. Samosas. Samosas. S O M O S A S. Samosas. Ganges. Can you repeat the word? Ganges. Can you use it in a sentence? The Ganges is considered the holy river of Hinduism, and its waters are believed to be both pure and purifying. Ganges. G A N G I S. Ganges. Students, just a reminder that there is hand sanitizer on either side of the stage in case you choose to use it after you've spelled the word and um, additional masks, just in case, all right? Okay, contestants, this is the real thing. Remember, when I pronounce a word, you may repeat the word before you spell it. You are permitted to ask me to pronounce the word again, but I will not pronounce the word more than three times. You may also ask for the definition, the derivation of the word, and you may also ask for the word to be used in a sentence. Also, as much as I would like to help you, I cannot. However, if I think that you, are, that you do not understand what the word is, I will ask you to pronounce it for me, just to make certain you understand, okay? So, do the best you can. Contestant number one. Hull. May you use it in a sentence, please? This word has a near homonym. Hull. Now, when the new ship was named, a bottle of champagne was smashed on its hull. The frame or body of a ship, exclusive of masts, yards, sails, and rigging. Can I have the definition, please? The frame or body of a ship, exclusive of masts, yards, sails, and rigging. H A U O. This word could be confused with a similar word. Playlist. An official roster used for organizing a personal digital, digital music collection. Can you repeat the word? Playlist. Can you use it in a sentence? Arun has a playlist of classical music to listen to while studying. Playlist P L A Y L I S T Playlist This word has a near homonym knife noun a simple instrument used for cutting consisting of a sharp edged usually steel blade with a handle knife 
K-N-I-F-E, knife. This word could be confused with a similar word, wretched. Adjective, characterized by or tending to produce misery, squalid, dismal, or foul. May I have the word repeated? Wretched. Wretched. R E C H I T. Faltered. Can you repeat the word? Faltered. Faltered. F A L T E R E D Faltered. This word has a near homonym, impolite. Adjective, lacking in courteous behavior, in etiquette, or in consideration of others. Impolite, I-M-P-O-L-I-T-E. Juneteenth. Can you give me the definition? The definition. The 19th day of the sixth month of the year, observed as a general holiday, especially in Texas, in celebration of the anniversary of the emancipation of slaves in the state. <clears throat> Can you repeat the word? Juneteenth. J U T. H E T This word could be confused with a similar word decimal adjective subdivided into tenth or hundredths units Decimal, D-E-C-I-M-A-L, decimal. This word could be confused with a similar word, ransacks. Verb. Can you give, can you give me the definition? Verb, looked very thoroughly and zealously through Searched often, forcefully, or roughly rummaged. Can you repeat the word? Ransacked. R A N S A C K E D. Ransacked. Stalemate. Can you please repeat the word again? Stalemate. Can you use it in a sentence? It was only after the two warring countries reached a stalemate that they agreed to negotiate for peace. Can you give me the definition? A position from which neither contestant can derive a winning advantage. Deadlock. Can you repeat it again? Stalemate. S T A L M A T E. 
still me. Proctors. Can you say it again? Proctors. Can you have the definition of that word? Officers are students, as in college or university, appointed to supervise students, as at an examination and in the dormitories, or to check on attendance or perform some similar duty. Proctors. P. R. O. C T A R S Proctors This word could be confused with a similar word exile noun a person expelled from their country by authority E X I L E This word could be confused with a similar word contorted verb twisted or twisted together especially in a strained or violent manner bent distorted can you use it in a sentence? Years of fierce sea winds had contorted the tree into a strange shape. Can you repeat the word? Contorted. C-O-N-T-O-R-T-E-D. Fetlocks. Can I have the definition? Projections like cushions bearing a tuft of long hair on the back, side of the leg above the hoof of the horse, and similar animals. Can you use it in a sentence? The veterinarian checked the horse's fetlocks before the race to be sure they had properly healed. F E T L O C K S. This word could be confused with a similar word. Herbalist. Noun. A person who practices healing through the use of plants, plant parts, or an extract or mixture of these as medicine. Can you repeat the word? Herbalist. H E R B I L E S S. This word could be confused with a similar word, aversion. Noun, a firmly settled and vehement dislike, antipathy, used usually with to, for, or from. Can you repeat the word? Aversion. A V I R S I O N. Mallet. Mallet. 
mallet. Can you use in a sentence, please? Tiffany used a rubber mallet to put the wheel cover back in place after she changed the flat tire. M A L L E T. This word could be confused with a similar word, botch. Can you say it again? Ver Verb, to make a mess of through clumsiness or lack of ability. Botch. B-O-T-C-H. Clover. Clover. C L O V E R. <laughs> Munchkin. <clears throat> M U N C. H K I N Cowlick. Can you repeat the word? Cowlick. C O W L I C K. This word could be confused with a similar word, drizzle. Noun, a fine misty rain, specifically a light rain of very small drops. Drizzle, D-R-I-Z-Z-L-E, drizzle. This word could be confused with a similar word, noggin. Noun, a person's head. Can you repeat the word? Noggin. N-O-G-G-I-N. This word could be confused with a similar word. Frock. Noun, a dress worn by a girl and formerly by both boys and girls. Can you repeat the word? Frock. F R O G. This word has a homonym, <clears throat> pamper. Verb, to treat with extreme or excessive care and attention. Pamper, P-A-M-P-E-R, pamper.
Toddler. Toddler. T O D D L E R. Potato. Potato. P A T A T O. Potato. This word could be confused with a similar word, silver. Now, a white metallic element that produces sound is very malleable and is capable of a high degree of polish and that is used for coinage, tableware, jewelry, plate, and a great variety of articles. May I repeat the word? Silver. S-I-L-V-V-E-R. Cactus. C A C T U S. Publish. Could I have the definition? To release a product of creative work for public distribution or sale, usually with the consent of the copyright holder. Publish. P U B L I S H. Publish. Infirm. Can you please repeat the word? Infirm. Infirm. I N F I R M. Infirm. This word could be confused with a similar word, thistle. Noun, any of various prickly plants of a family of highly evolved herbs, shrubs, and trees that are characterized by florets arranged in dense heads that resemble single flowers and often belong to families of plants with tubular flowers. May you repeat the word? Thistle. F I. This word has a homonym, freight. Noun, something that is loaded for transportation, cargo. F R A T E, freight. Domino. D O M I N O. Domino. Teenagers. T E E N A G E. R S. 
Welp. Welp. W. H. E. L. P. Welp. Dicey. Can you repeat the word again? Dicey. Can you use it in a sentence? Elena found the prospect of going bungee jumping a bit too dicey. Can you repeat the word again? Dicey. D I C E one. Trivia. T R I T R I V I A. Spiteful. Can you say that again? Spiteful. Spiteful. S P I T E F U L. Metadata. Metadata. M E D E D A D A. Iota. Can you give me the definition? An infinitesimal amount, a very small degree. Can you repeat the word? Iota. Iota. I O T A. Gimmick. Can you repeat the word? Gimmick. G I B I C. Jitterbug. Jitterbug. G I T T E R B U G Jitterbug Listener. Listener. L I S T E N E R. Listener. Before we begin the next round, 
quick reminder, audience, uh, no videotaping is allowed. Also, spellers, make sure you hold the microphone up to your mouth so we can hear you clearly. This word has a near homonym, hodgepodge. Noun, a heterogeneous mixture often of incongruous and ill-suited elements, mixture medley. Can I, can I have it in the sentence? Eddie's pantry is a hodgepodge of canned fruits and vegetables, dried pasta, and half-eaten packages of cookies. H O D G E P O D G E. Tabulate. Can you please repeat the word? Tabulate. Can you use it in a sentence? Filiberto was asked to tabulate the results of the dorm assignments for first year students. Tabulate, T-A-B-U-L-E-T. -E this word could be confused with a similar word, egg corn. Now, a word or phrase that sounds like and is mistakenly used in a seemingly logical or possible way for another word or phrase either on its own or as part of a set expression. Egg corn. E G G C O R N. Egg corn. This word could be confused with a similar word, curries. Plural noun, foods seasoned with various powdered spices. C-U-R-I-E-S. This word has a homonym, alpha. Adjective, socially dominant, especially in a group of animals. Alpha, A-L-P-H-A, -A, alpha. Flipperling. Can you use it in a sentence? Phoebe's favorite poem is Kipling's Seal Lullaby, which features a mother seal singing to her young flipperling. Can you repeat the word? Flipperling. F-L-I-P-P-E-R-L-I-N-G, flipperling. Quantify. Can I get the definition? To determine, express, or measure the total amount or number of. Q, U, A, N, T, I, F, Y. Oblong. Can you repeat the word? Oblong. Can you use it in a sentence? Martha selected glasses with round frames to complement the oblong shape of her face. What is the definition? Deviating from a square or circular form through elongation. Can you repeat the word? Oblong. Can you repeat it one more time? This will be my last pronunciation, okay? Oblong. 
A B L O N G Demolition D E M O L I T I O N Demolition This word could be confused with a similar word. Flotus. Flotus. N nouns. The First Lady of the United States, the wife of the President of the United States. Flotus. F-L-O-T-U-S. Flotus. Kangaroo. K N G R O O. This word could be confused with a similar word. Merchandise. Noun. Merchand the commodities or goods that are bought and sold in business, the wares of commerce. Merchandise. M E R C H A N T D I S E. There's been an appeal. We're going to go ahead and review it. We'll take a little break for the participants. Relax. Thank you. Okay, we're going to resume. Upon further review, the decision stands for that question. Quick reminder, no video recording is allowed during the competition. Also, make sure you silence your phones, and please avoid using the door while the spellers are spelling. We may continue. Avenue. Avenue. A V E N U E. Ornament. Can you use it in a sentence? The entry hall of the mansion has a carved plaster ornament covering much of the ceiling. O R N A M E N T. Pinkerton. Can I have the definition? A private detective. Can you repeat the word? Pinkerton. Can you use the word in a sentence? Vanessa asked her dad if she could hire a Pinkerton to find her missing hamster. Pinkerton. P I N. K-E-R-T-O-N, Pinkerton. Ouster. Could you repeat the word? Ouster. Can I have the definition? 
An ejection from a position or place. Expulsion. Could you repeat the word? Ouster. O-U-S-T-E-R-E-D. Whirly bird. Can you repeat the word? Whirly bird. Can you give me the definition? A helicopter. Can you use it in a sentence? The company asked the astronautics board to approve new flights for the Whirly bird. Whirly bird. W H E a R L Y B I R D. Emperor. Can you say can you say it again, please? Emperor. E M P E R O R Hamlet. May you repeat the word? Hamlet. H A M L I T. Fructose. Could I have the definition? A very sweet, soluble sugar that occurs especially in fruit juices and honey. Fructose. F R U C T O S E. Fructose. Accurate. Accurate. <clears throat> A C C U R A T E. Accurate. Monopolize. M O N O P O L I Z E. Marathon. M A R A T H O N. Stewardship. Stewardship. Can you give me the definition, please? The careful, responsible management of something entrusted to one's care. Can you repeat the word? Stewardship. Stewardship. S T U A R D E S H I P. Stewardship. Obsolete. Can you repeat the word again, please? Obsolete. Obsolete. O B S O L E T E. Obsolete.
Sedentary. Can you repeat the word? Sedentary. S E D I N T A R Y. Pristine. Can you say that again? Pristine. Pristine. P R E S T I N E. Misconception. Misconception. M I S C O N. C E P T I O N. Misconception. Windbaggery. Can you say it in a sentence? Maeve disliked the windbaggery that went on at her investment firm's social hours. Can I have the definition? Pompous, meaningless talk. W? B A G E R Y Lexicon Lexicon? May I have the definition? The vocabulary of a language, of an individual speaker, of a set of documents, of a body of speech, of a subject, or of an occupational or other group. Can you use it in a sentence? Margot's dad says that he can't understand most of the lexicon used by teenagers these days. Lexicon. L E X. I C O N lexicon Mosquito Mosquito M O S Q U I T O Mosquito This word could be confused with a similar word, romaine. Noun, a variety of lettuce having long spoon-shaped leaves with large midribs and columnar heads. Can you repeat the word? Romaine. Can you use the word in a sentence? Michael chopped some romaine to use as the base for his salad. Can you repeat the word? Romaine. R O M A N E. Romaine.
spaniel. Can I get the definition? A small or medium sized short legged dog, usually having long wavy hair, feathered legs and tail, and large drooping ears. Can you repeat the word? Spaniel. S P A N I E L. Repercussion. Can I have the definition? An impact, action, or effect given or exerted in return. A can reciprocal action or effect. Can you repeat the word? Repercussion. R E P E R C O U S S I O N. Volpine. Can you send a sentence, please? John detected a certain volpine expression on the face of his chess opponent, so he started looking for a trap. Volpine. V U L P I N E. Volpine. Seethe. May you repeat the word? Seethe. Can you use it in a sentence? When he found out he hadn't gotten the part, Ra began to quietly seethe with fury. May you repeat the word? Seethe. S E I. Phonics. Can you use in a sentence? Mr. Levy used phonics to help his students connect letters with sounds. F O N I X. Criteria. Can you, can I have the definition? Standards on which a decision or judgment may be based. Can I have the word in the sentence? All the entries for the short story contest were judged on the criteria of inventiveness, creativity, and smoothness of style. Can you repeat the word? Criteria. Criteria. C R I T I E R I A This word could be confused with a similar word spatula Noun, a flat, thin, flexible, dull-edged implement used especially for spreading or mixing soft substances, scooping or lifting. Spatula, S-P-A-T-U-L-E. Wait, oh. Affectionately. 
Could I have the definition? In a loving or fond manner. Can you repeat the word? Affectionately. Affectionately. A F F E C T I O N A T E L Y affectionately. Allergenic. Can you repeat the word? Allergenic. Can you use in the sentence? Eggs are an allergenic food for many unfortunate people. Allergenic. A L L E R G E N I C. Allergenic. Comportment. Comportment. C O M P O R T A N T. Petrifying. Adjective. Can you repeat the word, please? Adjective. Can you use it in a sentence? Kayla often mistakenly uses the adjective good when she should use the adverb well. Adjective. A D J E C T I V E. Adjective. Abracadabra. Can you repeat the word? Abracadabra. Abracadabra. A B R A C A D A B R A. Abracadabra. At this time, we're going to ask the remaining spellers to move forward, please. Go ahead and move to the front rows. Haphazard. Haphazard. May I have the definition? Made, performed, or selected according to chance, whim, or speculation, rather than on the basis of a considered judgment or firm knowledge. Aimless, random. Can you use it in a sentence? 
the apartment's haphazard furniture arrangement made it look untidy. Haphazard. H A P H A Z A R D. Haphazard. Ceramics. Can you repeat the word? Ceramics. Can you use it in a sentence? Luke's interest in ceramics led him to take a pottery class. Ceramics. S Y R A M I X. Ceramics. This word could be confused with a similar word. Sediment. Noun. Material or a mass of material deposited as by water, wind, or glaciers. Can you pronounce the word again? Sediment. S E D. I M E N T This word has a near homonym planetarium noun a building or room housing an optical device designed to protect as on a doom ceiling various celestial images and effects as the appearance of the nighttime sky at a specific time and place. Planetarium. P L A N E T A R I U M. Planetarium. Primitive. Could I have the definition? of or relating to the earliest age or period of something. Primitive. P-R-I-M-I-T-I-V-E. Primitive. Testimony. Testimony. T E S T I M O N Y. Testimony. Heredity. Can you repeat the word again, please? Heredity. Heredity. H E R. I D I T Y heredity perilous. Can you repeat the word? Perilous. Can I have the definition? Full of, attended with, or involving danger. Can you use it in a sentence? Violet covered her eyes frequently during the movie, unable to watch her favorite actor face one perilous trap after another. Perilous. P A R A L O U S. Perilous. Eligibility. Can you use it in a sentence? At Ons School, eligibility to participate in extracurricular activities depends on academic performance. May I have the definition? 
The quality or state of being worthy to be chosen or selected. Eligibility. E L I B I L I T Y Innovator. Can you use it in a sentence? Steve Jobs was renowned as an innovator in both technology and business. Can you pronounce the word again? Innovator. I N A V A T O R. Sedge. Can you um, use in a sentence, please? One of the numerous types of sedge is the papyrus from which ancient Egyptians crafted their famous writing material. Can you um, give me the definition, please? A solid stem perennial grass-like herb of a widely distributed genus, having its small one-seeded fruit enclosed in a sack near the floral leaf. Can you please repeat the word? Sedge. Can you um, please give me the sentence again? One of the numerous types of sedge is the papyrus from which ancient Egyptians crafted their famous writing material. S-A-G-E. This word could be confused with a similar word. Personnel. Plural noun. Individuals of a particular as professional or occupational group. Could you repeat the word? Personnel. Personnel. P E R S O N N E L. Personnel. Victimology. Can you please use it in a sentence? The professor's research on victimology received criticism for seeming to shift responsibility away from the actual perpetrators. Can you repeat the word? Victimology. Victimology. V I C T I. M-O-L-O-G-Y, victimology. Avatar. Could I have the definition? An electronic image that represents and is manipulated by a computer user in a virtual space, as in a computer game or an online shopping site, and then interacts with other objects in the space. Avatar. A-V-A-T-A-R. Avatar. Millennial. Millennial. Can you please use it in a sentence? In 2010, Vietnam celebrated the millennial of the found, founding of its capital, Hanoi, which was founded in the year 1010 with the name Phang Long. Millennial, M-I, 
L E N N I A L millennial Yeah, she was. This word could be confused with a similar word, yinling. Now, lamb. Could, I, could you repeat the word again? Yinling. Yinling. Why? E. E N L I N G Yinling This word has a near homonym enzyme Noun any of a very large class of complex proteinaceous substances that are produced by living cells and that are essential to life by acting on catalysts. Can you use in a sentence? An enzyme speeds up a chemical reaction by lowering the amount of energy needed to start that reaction. Can you repeat the word? Enzyme. Enzyme. E-N-Z-I-M-E. -E. Enzyme. This word could be confused with a similar word. Affable. I'm sorry. Adjective. Characterized by ease and friendliness. Could you repeat the word? Affable. Could you use it in a sentence? Affable and knowledgeable, the tour guide was well suited to her job. Affable. A. F, F, A, B, L, E, affable. We'll take a little break. We are ready to continue. Just to, for clarification purposes, just want to make sure, uh, for clarification purposes, speller number 30, is about uh, to spell the championship word. If he gets it correct, then he will be the winner. If he does not get it correct, then the other speller will start a new round. Correction, the new, the new round, if he gets it incorrect, the championship word, the new round would start with speller number 30. We can continue. Emporium. Can you give me the definition? An especially sizable place of business or center of activity that serves customers. Could you use it in a sentence? Nathan went to the pet emporium to buy food for some and some toys for his cats. Language of origin? Greek to Latin. Emporium. E M. P. O. R. E. U. M. Emporium. We'll 
will now begin a new round. Charioteer. Could I have the definition? One that drives a two-wheeled vehicle, usually drawn by two horses and used in ancient warfare and also in processions and races. Charioteer. C H A R I O T E E R. Charioteer. Cantankerous. Can you use it in a sentence? George tried in vain to avoid his cantankerous roommate. Can I have the definition? Marked by ill humor, irritability, and determination to disagree. Can you repeat the word? Cantankerous. Cantankerous. C A N. T A N K E R O U S, cantankerous. Alpaca. Could I have the definition? An animal like a llama with fine, long, woolly hair and domesticated in Peru and adjacent countries. Alpaca. A L P A C A. Alpaca. Zirconium. Zirconium. Z-I-R-C-O-N-I-U-N, zirconium. Smell fungus. Could you repeat the word? Smell fungus. Could I have the definition? One especially given to fault finding. Could you use it in a sentence? Troy thinks his Spanish teacher is a smell fungus because she is constantly yelling silencio and glaring at him when all he is doing is whispering to his best friend. Could you repeat the word? Smell fungus. Language of origin? This word is from an English literary name. Smell fungus. S M E L L F U N G U S. Smell fungus. Sesame. Sesame. S E S A M E. Sesame. Vivacious. Could I have the definition? Lively in temper, conduct, or spirit. Sprightly. Could you use it in a sentence? Randy's vivacious personality made her perfect for her school's pep squad. Vivacious. V I B A C I O U S. Vivacious. This word could be confused with a similar word. Repository. Noun. A place, room, or container where something is kept or stored. Can you use it in a sentence? The local library would be a suitable repository for Mr. Leopold's autograph collection. 
repository. R E P O S I T O R Y repository. Plutonomy. Could I have the definition? A modern social science dealing with the interrelationship of political and economic processes. Plutonomy. P L U T O N O M Y. Plutonomy. Epilepsy. Epilepsy. E P I L E P S Y. Epilepsy. Reggae. Could I have the definition? Popular music of Jamaican origin that combines indigenous styles with elements of rock and roll and soul music and is performed at moderate tempos with the accent on the offbeat. Reggae. R E G G A E. Reggae. This word could be confused with a similar word. Resplendence. Noun. The quality or state of shining brightly. Can you repeat the word? Resplendence. Can you use it in a sentence? Barbara Tunde watched the resplendence of the sunset over Lake Muskoka and wished his vacation would never end. Resplendence. R E S P L E N D E N C E resplendence. Espousal. Could I have the definition? A taking up or adopting as a cause or belief. Could you repeat the word? Espousal. Could you use it in a sentence? The senator's espousal of a national health program has not wavered during his three terms. Espousal. E S P O U S A L. Espousal. Complacency. Can you use in the sentence? Osnod's complacency about her schoolwork was shattered when she got her dismal report card. Can you repeat the word? Complacency. Can I have the definition? Satisfaction or self-satisfaction accompanied by unawareness of actual dangers or deficiencies. Can you repeat the word? Complacency. Complacency. C O M P L A C E N C Y. Complacency. Paisley. Could I have the definition? Woven or printed with an elaborate design consisting typically of curved abstract figures. Could you use it in a sentence? Mr. McDonald gave his wife a blue and green paisley scarf. Paisley. P A I S E L Y. Paisley? Cornucopia. Cornucopia. 
C O R N U C O P I A, cornucopia. We now have uh, the attempt at the championship award. Marsupial. Marsupial. M A R S U P I A L. Marsupial. Mr. Olvera, we have a winner. At this time, will all contestants please report to the stage so we can be begin the closing ceremony. Everyone else, please remain seated until every contestant is recognized. Mrs. Emerson and Ms. Longoria, will you please come up and help us present our awards. Contestants, when we call your name, please step forward to receive your much deserved certificate. Dylan Aron Vasquez from Ituria. Alfredo Martinez, Villanueva. Luis Guajardo, Vermilion. Jaden Ezra Aguilar. Jessica Y. Sulbaran, Stel. Alejandro Morales. Ryan Edward Holmes, Skinner. Jimena Trevino. Melissa Mendoza. Brandon Rodriguez. Maite Guajardo Guerra. Gabriel González. Jennifer Bernice Abundis. Jairo Estrada. Daniela Chantal Rivera. There was a correction for Perez, it's Ricardo Castillo. We're gonna have to give him that. Lily Green, Tom Grove. Clarissa Davila, Ortiz. Edgar Ivan Rodriguez Medrano. Aubrey Parker. Chloe Melody Alaniz. Marbella Soto. Marbella Soto. 
Madeline Juliana Beard. Gael Bravo. Ricardo Jesús Zambrano. Ashley Dimas. Montserrat Valderrama. Jaslyn Guevara. Miguel A. Pérez. Carlos Alberto Ramírez. José Guadalupe Cázares. Sophie Ledesma. Azaref Covarrubias. Moisés Zúñiga. Audrey Vizcarra. Vizcarra. Cecilia López. Sofía Pérez. Santana Alemán. Ismael Aida del Ángel. Angelina Torres. Angelina Torres. All right, and now for our top five principals, if you are here and would like to join us in congratulating the top five BISD Spelling Bee winners, the top five winners will be presented to our Board of Trustees at a future board meeting. The top five BIC spellers will advance to the 33rd annual Rio Grande Valley Regional Spelling Bee. The Regional Bee will be held at Texas State Technical College Harlingen in the Science and Technology Building W Lecture Hall to be held on Saturday, March 5, 2022. Spellers should arrive between 8 and 8.15 a.m. The Regional Bee will start promptly at 9 a.m. The winner of the regional competition will advance to the Scripps National Spelling Bee to be held in Harbor, Maryland during the week of Memorial Day, which, is, which will be May uh, 30th through June the 3rd, 2022. We will be providing more information to the campus administration in the very near future. And now our top five winners. Jack Hesterberg, Breeden Elementary. Emiliano Montelongo Besteiro. Our top three finalists will receive a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Sophia Nicole Holmes, Manzano Middle School. Steven Dan Danograu, from Bella Middle School. And our 2022 
BISB, BISD Spelling Bee Champion is Brittany Heather Garza from Garden Park. Please make sure you stay um, for the picture at the very end. Let's give all of our contestants a big round of applause for participating in today's competition. Thank you all for attending our 2022 District Spelling Bee. Top five, please stay behind for some pictures. Thank you all.